Assalamu alaikum. Today's video is about how to take virtual classroom through Agri LMS portal of Ilama Iqbal Open University. As all of us, all of us knows that Ilama Iqbal Open University is going to conduct all the workshops online due to this COVID-19 situation. Uh, so as a resource person, how you will take your virtual classroom or how you will uh, take the um, lectures during your workshop uh, sessions. We will learn about this step by step. The first step is that you will access this website or Agi LMS portal. To access this website, it's uh, you have to type this URL in your browser. We suggest that it should be the Chrome because Chrome supports it in a better way. So the URL of this website is agi.aiou.edu.pk. After typing this URL in your Chrome browser, the screen will be displayed. You will enter your name and password, which has been already which has been already shared with you through SMS or the DRS Department of the Lamaik Bal Open University. Login. Now go to the My Courses menu and click on your desired course. You will end on the home page of this course. Scroll down the page. The workshop schedule will be displayed over here. Click on the workshop which is scheduled for you, a particular date and the time, according to the schedule which is already made available to you. I will click on this workshop Monday, 13 July. This page will be displayed. Click on the join session button. You will be given an option of microphone and listen only. As a resource person, you will choose microphone. It will seek your permission to use your microphone for this software. Click on allow. It will test your speakers. This is the screen of the virtual classroom. It is basically divided in three sections. The section one, in section one, you will see the list of the participants who are taking this lecture or who, are, who have joined your class. You can see name of all those students over here. The next section is about the chat because students will be in listen only mode and they will not be available with the microphone feature. So they will ask the question by typing in this box. For example, teacher can answer their questions by typing either by typing or uh, through voice because teacher has both features available with him. The next se section is uh, the main virtual classroom section. It has um, multiple features. First, we will have a look at the controls which are available with the teachers. You can see a plus icon over here. If you want to upload a presentation, you will click on it. Click on upload a presentation. Browse for the file, which is saved on your system. Choose your file. Upload. and your file will be uploaded. You can just scroll between the, or switch between the slides using these the previous and next slides buttons. If teacher wants to share any external video, if you want to share any video on the YouTube, you can share using this feature, share an external video. The next control is of the mute or unmute. You can mute your mic or you can unmute it using this control. Next is leave audio or join audio. If you want to switch your modes, you want to go from the listen only to audio mode, microphone mode, you can use this control. The next is for sharing webcam. The resource person has to share their webcams during the lecture. And the last button is of the share your screen that you can share your screen with the students if you want to show any uh, document or any book or video or any diagram which is uh, present on your uh, system.
or the laptop PC or the laptop, you can just press a share screen button and your screen will be shared with all the students. So these are the different controls which are available to you. And this central area is not only for the presentation, but this also acts as a whiteboard too. So how to do that, you will again go to this plus icon, upload a presentation and check this default p.pdf. Click on this radio button or checkbox and confirm. Now press the next slide. This will act as a whiteboard. There are the different annotation tools which are available over here. You can draw anything here or you can type and there are the different um, uh, um, other features which are available to you to be used as a teacher. You can change the color of your annotations. And if you want to raise or undo anything, you can even do that. You can see a maximize button in the corner here. If you will click on it, your presentation or whiteboard will be maximized to the full screen. To go back to the normal, again, click on it. If you want to zoom any part of your presentation or the board, you can press this plus icon and it will be zoomed to go back to your normal, that is the 100%, click on this minus sign. So these were all the features or control which are available for the resource person to be used during the lectures, delivered in the workshops. You can start recording and there's a, there's a feature available here that you can record all the lecture. It's just on the top. You can start or stop the recordings. In the right top corner, you can see three dots. If you will click on it, you will log out of your classroom at the end of your class. Press OK. It will take you back to your course. Click on the course course, which will be available over here. This is a dummy course, so no course code over here. And you will go back to your workshop schedule and the course. To log out, Go to the right top corner, a manual will be open, a drop down menu. And the last option is log out, click on it.